identifying your bad and good habits. If you want to break your bad habits, then you need to know what they are. You may think this is obvious, but it isn't always. You can't change something if you are not aware of it. So in this video, we will show you how to identify your bad habits and your good ones so that you can move forward. One of the most important things that you need to do is to accept that you have some bad habits. Some people find this difficult to accept for a variety of reasons, but you must do it or you will not get the most from this training. People often do things habitually that they do not realize are bad. Sitting in front of the TV every night might not seem like a bad thing to do, but human beings were designed to be active and move around a lot. Maybe you like to eat out several times a week. Nothing wrong with that if you can afford it, right? Well, you may not be eating too healthily by doing this, and you can certainly put the money that you are spending eating out to better use. Some of your bad habits are going to be pretty easy to break because they don't mean that much to you. Others are going to be a lot tougher to break, but when you use the techniques revealed in this training, then you will be able to break them for sure. Okay, now that you have taken that first giant step of admitting that you have some bad habits, let's move on. Bad habits get easier. Here is something that you must understand. Starting a bad habit can be really pleasurable and over time they will get easier. What do we mean by that? Well, let's say that one of your bad habits is lying to your spouse. This may have been pretty difficult for you to do at first, but the more you do it, the easier it became. In the back of your mind, you knew that lying to the person that you love the most in the world was the wrong thing to do, but you found ways to rationalize and justify your actions. This became addictive to you. An effective way to identify bad habits. Go to a place where you will not be disturbed and take some paper and a pen with you. You don't want any distractions while you are doing this, so put your phone in silent mode and turn off the TV. Okay, ask yourself this question. What are my bad habits? Is it really that simple? Yes, it is if you are committed to identifying your bad habits and breaking them to move forward in your life. You need to focus on the question and write down all of the answers you receive. Your subconscious mind will provide you with the answers. It doesn't matter what answers you receive. Write them all down. Here are some examples of the kind of answers you may receive. I am lazy. I shout at my kids a lot. I never finish what I start. I am too much of a perfectionist. I am a procrastinator. I lie to my spouse. I spend too much money on things I don't need. I waste a lot of time on social media. I am a smoker. I am a drinker. If you have a long list of bad habits, then don't worry. You can break them all. Not receiving answers to the question is more concerning. Just focus on the question and keep asking yourself. Something will definitely turn up. Get specific about your bad habits. Once you have your list of bad habits, then you will need to be more specific about them. Ask yourself these questions and write down your answers. How much time do you spend indulging in each bad habit? How long have you indulged in each bad habit? How much money is each bad habit costing you? Does the bad habit affect your health and well-being? Does the bad habit affect your emotional health? Does the bad habit prevent you from doing things that you really want to do? It is very important that you identify the negative things about all of your bad habits. You will use these later to create positive reasons why you need to break your bad habits. So, keep working at this until you have a comprehensive list of bad habits and all of the specifics. What are your good habits? This is often more difficult for people to identify, but it is an important thing for you to do. This will help to reinforce future good habits that you want to form. So, to identify them, use the same process as before, but this time ask yourself, what are my good habits? Here are some examples of the answers you may receive. I always help people. I am a doer and an action taker. I am organized. I take responsibility for things. I am always learning new things. When you have finished writing down your good habits, go through each one and think about how they make you feel. Write your feelings down alongside each good habit. So, for example, if one of your answers is, I am always willing to help people, then write down the satisfaction that you get from doing this. So now that you have your list of good and bad habits, you can really start to make good progress. It wasn't that difficult, was it? In the next video, we will look at how habits actually work. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.